In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you could use 3D printed parts to take photos like this with your existing gears. This also allows you to try whether macro photography is something for you without spending much money as specialists are macro lens are quite expensive. This adapter is quite nifty and I found it on Thingiverse. I shoot with Nikon so this works with the Nikon F mount. There is minimal um, image loss as you can see because there is no element or glasses in between them at all. I will show you first how the 70-200 looked without the extension tube. This lens has got like um, 1.4 meter minimal focus distance to object across the range. As you can see there, the object falls within the minimal focus distance so it's it can't focus. This is the actual shooting view from the viewfinder. As you can see, twisting or turning the focus dial just won't focus on the subject. I then mounted the extension tube to the camera, as you can see here. So the distance between the tripod and the object, which is the watch, wasn't changed. But you can see from the viewfinder, it is now in focus. I'll briefly explain how I shoot this. So you can see that there is no f-stop because obviously it is um, a 3D printer part, so everything is manual. In order for it to work, I have to flip it to manual switch and turn on the focus peaking and zoom it to 100% as you can see here. So what you're seeing next is um, a tip which is using the circular polarizer in front of the lens. This is without this is with um, the circular polarizer. It does dim the you know, um, exposure which you have to compensate with ISO or shutter speed. And then I zoom out and take a photo. In this next example, I want to get closer. So I've mounted two extension tube onto the lens itself. I have to be really careful because the um, parts itself is not secure. So if you're using this, you want to be really, really you know, careful. With two extension tubes, it allows me to get even closer to the watch itself, as you can see. Um, what's next is I'll zoom into 100% and find the area of interest to make sure it's in focus. Just by um, twisting the focus zoom dial. Then I'll just click the shutter. This 3D printed parts are quite smart and nifty. That red ring there is to allow you to um, lock the extension tube to the lens more securely. However, if you don't, just by twisting and turning the mount itself, the aperture will change as you can see. So if you want, if you are not messing about with the aperture, I will just put that in so that it's, it's sort of like locked. It does move the aperture a little bit, but as you can see with that ring, locking ring you know secure there it's not going anywhere which is um, quite smart the way it works in the um, parts is that there is a little tab there so by twisting and turning it closes or opens up the aperture as you can see so it's all like manual aperture control For post-processing, I've just used um, Lightroom Classic CC. What I've done is I've uploaded the photos into Lightroom and selected or picked the one that I like the most. Um, once I'm in there, what I've done is just select the correct profile and you know messed about with the basic adjustments as you can see there. I did bump up the texture clarity just to give it um, more you know contrast. But other than that, I don't think I've you know messed about much. I did have to sharpen and apply a bit of um, um noise reduction. After that, I apply I think some vignette as you can see there, which is the preset. Um, it it gives the the subject which is the watch some pop. And I'll show you the before. I can't remember the um hotkey, but okay backslash. 
So that is the before, before and after, before, after. And it's the same for this um, back case. So what I've done, I've synced the settings and you know, before, after. The editing is fairly minimal as you can see. Right, hope you find this useful and please like and subscribe and let me know whether you are interested in further videos like this. Thank you, bye.